Greetings traders, this is Coach Robert with another episode of Top Step X in 5 minutes or less. In this video, we will demonstrate some additional chart preferences surrounding order placement in previous trades. We have an NQ 3 minute chart on the screen. And I did place some test trades earlier in the day for the demonstration purposes of this video, but we don't see them. There are two ways where we can show our trades. One is by going to the settings uh, panel and then the charts tab across the top. And on the far right, we have chart executions. We can turn this on and save it. And now we have our order trades will be placed on the chart themselves. You'll see the stamp on there in a moment. We can also change whether we want to have our positions displayed in dollars, in ticks, or in percentage. When we are in a trade, we have our positions on the chart. We can choose whether we want to show them on the left or on the right, or we can choose to show them not at all as some traders like to do. For example, if you're trading off of a DOM or if you just like to keep nice clean charts. Finally, under here, but unrelated, is the data speed. We suggest trying medium, uh, if you are having some lag experience, you should shift down to slow. You won't be losing any data, just that it comes in in less bunches at a time. Let's go back to our chart. Now that I turned on to show the chart trades, we can see it right here. A quick way to turn these on or off is right here, a new tab under preferences. It just brings up that same panel. We can show the chart executions or we can remove the chart executions. And as you can see, it is pretty instant. Now these will plot by showing an arrow in one position for the short and the other position for long. But what we don't know is, in, well in this case we do, we can see that the short was placed on this candle and the long was placed on this candle, technically covering the short. And it gives us our price levels here, which we can see here down below. We have our 921.50 is the entry price. And we have our 924.25 as the exit price. So it shows a loss as a short and then a cover higher, a loss of $55. The next trade was here. We have a short into a cover. And this shows it here as well. 894.75. And we covered at 891, which is the exit price for a win of $75. Now these will show on the chart as you take positions. So if we simply mark it into a position right now, we can see it has just placed a short and we can see that we have a red arrow on the chart. And there it is. These are the positions here that I was showing you earlier where we can change the location. We can change them to the right and we can see these are moved over to positions. This is stayed that's already in a position and let's put them back to the left hand side. And let's change it to ticks. So now it's displaying we are in one tick of, well, it's green and between green and red, so up and down, we have 50 tick stop and a 50 tick target. This is useful if you wish to change instruments and calculations on ticks versus dollars. It's a matter of your preference. I personally like to see what the dollar values are. And there we have it. So when we close this trade, simply close, and we can see there is our closed position, and we can see that it now shows down here in our trades panel. This concludes the video on the additional chart preferences in order tracking.